Welcome back to Pepperdine Pipeline, and we're going to head down to the tennis courts to talk to Bassam Betis about his most recent singles victory. Bassam. Yeah. National Collegiate Tennis Classic. Take us through the weekend. Well, I was going to the tournament with a bit of an injury. I twisted my ankle over break, and I'd only started practicing the Monday before the tournament. So it wasn't really too sure what to expect of myself, you know, my performance, my fitness levels, and so on. And so we, four of us, drove down there with our volunteer assistant Austin. And uh, yeah, I, my draw was pretty tough. I had a pretty tough match first round for a seeded player. I played a pretty good guy from San Diego, and uh, I won the first match. I somehow managed to scrape through that one. I just got confidence for the rest of the week, and I started playing really well, even if I wasn't that fit. So. Do you find yourself forgetting about your injury as the weekend went on? Um, you know, I played a lot of tennis over those few days, so I guess towards the end of the weekend it was starting to feel really sore. But, you know, when you just think you have like one match left, two matches left, you kind of uh, get over it, you know. How many just matches did you end up playing to take the championship? Played, uh, ended up playing four matches, which uh, sounds like not many, but it was. Just a few uh, it days. Seemed, yeah, it was only in three days, so they're kind of crammed together, and it did seem like a lot at the time. What was your toughest match? The first one. That was the one which went to three sets, mm -hmm. and it was a guy who'd beaten me before. He'd beaten Omar last year, okay. and he's known for, to be one of the better players in the country. And I was a bit nervous as well. I didn't know how my confidence would be and how I was playing, so I was just, uh, you know, I went to that match a bit unnerved, but I came through it pretty well. I was pretty happy with the way I played. How did you turn it around in, you know, that tough time? Um, you know, I just uh, tried to stay calm. I knew that if I, you know, lost a bit of focus and got a bit angry, I would probably given him the advantage because I know what he's like. Oh, okay. So I just, you know, I tried to force myself to remain calm during that match, and I knew that it would probably benefit me over the course of the match, and it did, so. And you won it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I know you guys have been dealing with bad weather, a yeah. uh, bunch of matches that have been postponed and stuff, but um, how much are you looking forward to getting back out there right now? Um, really looking forward to it. It's uh, my last season, obviously, which is a sad thing, but uh, at the same time, it can be uh, an advantage because, you know, you're giving, kind of playing with that, you know, this is my last match attitude to every match this year, so it's hopefully going to push me on to better things this year. And I'm really excited about the team. We've got a lot of young guys on the team, and it looks like a really promising team, so it should be a good year. What do you think the biggest goal is for the team? Um, as a concrete goal, I think we should be aiming to try and win it all this year. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you got to take it step by step over the year. And I think first we've got to work on um, blending in the new guys to team matches, which is always difficult. But I think we're doing a good job of that in practice so far getting them used to the idea of playing as a team and so on, and hopefully we'll get them blended in quickly and it's going to benefit us in the long run. How do you guys keep up with that motivation throughout the long season to hopefully make it to the end? Well, when you have goals as big as our team does, you know, um, you kind of have to motivate yourself. The coaches do a really good job of keeping us motivated and always pushing us through practices and making sure that we don't let up. But, you know, I think everyone on the team knows that we have big goals and everyone wants to achieve those goals. So we're all on the same page and we're all, uh, you know, we're all really pumped up for every practice, every match. And now we're going to serve it over to Coach Rod. Do Coach you Rod. think Coach Rod can cook, Colin? Well, do I think he could cook? Mm -hmm. I, I, would, I would say no, I don't think he could cook. But apparently um, he can cook, right? I think he can. He compared it to the ninth inning in a very tight game. Though he said it facetiously, Pepperdine baseball coach Steve Rodriguez showed his ability to perform under pressure. Get some peppers and it's kind of a stage by stage process, so there's really no exact science to it. For who was named top chef at the ESPN Zone baseball coaches cookoff, but Pepperdine's own. What does it taste like? Uh, delicious. Delicious. Goodness. It's really nice. It's got a little bit of spice Nothing in it. Nothing but yumminess. It's a little bit of kick. It's good. Exactly. Yeah. Really nice. Amazing. Coach Rod, we are so proud of you. <laughs> Tell us 
what your approach was today in your cooking challenge. The approach today was very simple. Don't burn myself because I have to go throw a batting practice here shortly. Um, but the biggest thing was to just make sure we had fun. Uh, try not to make anybody sick as they're driving home. Uh, and just trying to create something, constantly tasting, keep it different, but at the same time, keep it good. That is our favorite now because he let us try. She wins it. in my book. All right, and Mr. Top Chef, what did you make? Uh, we made a, a spicy chicken uh, Alfredo pasta that had some mushrooms, tomatoes, garlic, a little white wine in there, and some sweet red peppers just to kind of give it a nice little kick. Spicy but yet sweet and uh, really light Alfredo sauce. Uh, I figured the more fat you can put in there, the better. Okay. When you cook at home, are the ingredients already all chopped up like that? Um, they are not chopped up. Normally, uh, it would took me about 15 minutes of there. It usually takes me about three hours uh, because there's usually several different versions of a meal. Um, one is the burnt version, which we usually throw away, and then we go to the next one, which actually isn't too bad. How does it feel to earn the win for the Hedford Air? Well, it's just the first win of the year. Yeah. I'm assuming it's going to be of many more. Um, it's just a good start, I think. Um, but the truth is, it was just fun being up there, being a part of this, something kind of baseball related, but at the same time, just something completely off the charts. When we come back, we're going to uh, meet one of my uh, Pepperdine alum players. Uh, Nick Gotti played with me last year.